Hey guys, oh welcome. I'm like super shaky. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Loken. I am a first year first grade teacher here in Arizona and I just need to do a few things around my room as fast as I can because I probably have like less than an hour and I have to leave. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm gonna work on and then hopefully I can get it all done. If not, no big deal, but let me show you. Okay, so I'm trying to get stuff ready for next week. So I'm just gonna kind of show you through like my centers that I'm doing, my writing centers. We've been struggling a little bit on our spelling words because it's all new. Like in kinder, they didn't have spelling words. They just have, um, sight words and they had basically like all year to learn them so this week or this year we have weekly spelling words two words usually repeat themselves each week or like on to the next week but I'm gonna laminate all of these so these will have all of spelling words in there I'm gonna laminate them and then this will be play-doh I made two sets so each student will start with one They'll build the letters with Play-Doh, take it off, and then move it to the next person. So I have two sets of that. And then I have build the sentences. This is something we're working on in grammar, is where like they'll fix my sentences, we'll fix them together. They have um, like a worksheet where we do that too. But then we have one where we take apart sentences and then they rearrange the words. So that's what this is, and then to keep them together like all the c's go together all the a's go together and these will all be laminated and cut as well it's like the b's and some of them i made a period separate and some i put it with the word i think it's on this one is it it's with the word so those are sentences just um that use the spelling word and then I also have a set of flashcards. Last week I started where every child went home with a set of flashcards. Some of the parents from my class said that they've been making like their own flashcards, which I think is awesome. Um, but at least this way, I print them on color paper so it's fun and then the kids print them out um, and cut them, or they don't print them out. I print them out on fun color paper then they cut it and take it home. But this, so I just use my spelling test um, or my spelling word flashcards for this but I'm gonna use it at a center where they will each get a card and then they'll build it with um, like letters so I have block letters and I have like Scrabble cubes so they can do it like that and then once they get done they can write it and I have something for that too this will be another center now some of these are kind of going to be like early finishers a little bit like oh you're done with your center then let's do this one this i'm also going to laminate and cut but it's going to help them these are all their spelling words and then they're just going to write their spelling word below these are fill in the blank same deal they're spelling words and then they just put in the vowel for each one and then I put on here, fill in the vowel unit one week four. That way just for me for next year, if it gets lost. This one is fill in the blank. So they're mostly at the end. And these are also spelling words. And on here, I just put fill in the blank unit one week four. For those, laminated cut. This, I made a bunch of these where they will just practice writing their spelling words. Now, it can go, because I usually have five centers. I haven't really decided which ones I'm gonna put together, but I may just have a bucket of like early finishers when they're done. But this could go together, where they just write them on there. Or, what I was thinking is once I laminate, or before I laminate, I can write the words on this side. I only did eight on each one, but I could write the words on this one, and then laminate it and then that way they can write over this with that um with like a dry erase marker and then that will go so i want to try to laminate all of these before i leave i don't know if that is going to happen but we'll see and then i need to organize this i'll show you so I have three of these because we're lucky enough to have a parent that comes in once a week and does all of the copies for all of first grade. But sometimes I get a little overwhelmed when she comes in to give them to me. 
And so what I need to start doing is putting them in these. I have three of them, so I need to go through, organize, and then I'm gonna label these. That way I know what is what. So like one is just all my spelling words for Friday, like my spelling word um, quiz sheets. And then I have some that are like math, I have other tests. So I wanna separate everything. I have nine different ones and hopefully I can make it all work. And then, and then I've started doing this. So like Monday, my labels are not fancy. I will get to that later. It is not important to me right now. But I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What I want to do is put everything in there. This is everything I took down for the fire inspector. <laughs> um, but I want to go ahead and do that. And then these, I'm not sure what I want to do with yet for those. But I have like a two file section. So I'm not sure. Oh, I hate being here by myself. I hear like weird noises. Especially because right now I'm talking, so my music is off. Um, and then also, like it literally sounds like someone else is here. I need to go look. But usually, like if you see that someone else is here, you go say hi. That's what I did this morning. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I am. Okay, so then I didn't, so before school started, I really wanted to put everything on my board, the lighting. Um, on my whiteboard, but I didn't know where I wanted it. So I printed everything out with my Cricut. So we're gonna see if I have time to do that today. Um, and then also, let me, I don't wanna show you with their names, but I have basically name tags on top of all the cubbies and they are falling off. So I'd rather just do labels. So I'm gonna take all those down and do labels. Um, and then that way, Monday when they all come in, they'll just have a label there and then we don't have to mess with it because I'll show you right now because I don't think you can see much. Let me see. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. It doesn't say their last names or anything, which is really nice. So over there are their labels. My finger is all blurred out, but these are my curtains and then it knocks over the labels all the time. And so I need to take those off and then I'm just going to do like little address labels for their names and their number. And that way I don't have to worry about it anymore. So we shall see. But I only have like 30 minutes right now. So I'm going to try to get down what I can. So it's probably just going to be going through paper. So let's see. And then this is just clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree, so we're gonna see how it does. I've never used it before, um, but I was at the Dollar Tree and I didn't feel like going to get any more transfer paper. And I've heard that people have used this, so I don't know, we'll see how it works. It could be horrible or it could be really good. And I don't have any of my tools with me. I think I may have like my scraper thing. Um, but I don't have anything else, so. Okay, so I'm done with these, but it's almost time for me to go. Um, I have to get home because my husband has to go to work. So, before I try to put those up, because I don't know if I have enough time, um, there is a little area I'll show you by my front door, or by my door, I only have one, by my door, <laughs> where I have to hang some things, like just in case of emergency, I have where we do like our lunch money right there, and then I also have like this clipboard and inside has how all my kids get home. That way, if I'm not in my room, like if I'm out for uh, pickup or wherever, um, and they call me on the radio to see where someone's supposed to be, 
like if they because they all go in the cafeteria um like let's say i have a first grader in here that goes home with their sister that's in fourth grade they go and wait for their fourth grader in a specific place where all the other people wait for their fourth grade siblings so but if they're not there um then like they want to make sure i know like maybe there was a change and nobody was notified or maybe they went home early but that's all in there where they're supposed to be so i have these three command hooks i only needed three so let me show you just like that and they flip up and down so you put this is the wall side and then this is the other side so i'm going to put these all on because right now there are tacks i hate and that's just because that's what was here i hate having tacks in my room I don't even like them at my house. I'm just crazy like that. And I'd rather have, I'd rather have just more secure stuff that I don't have to worry about. Um, because I just don't want one of my kids to somehow have a tack in their hand to be able to mess around with or whatever. So I'm gonna go hang these. I'm gonna take you over there. So, oops. So this is what I mean. I have things hanging that I need. Like this is if we ever have a fire job, I need to take it out with us. This is for lunch money. And they're with like these little tacks right now, which I'm sure I'm giving you a headache by my camera moves. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these down and put up my other ones. Okay, so that makes me happy. I have about five, 10 minutes before I have to leave. So I'm going to try and put my words up there, um, my vinyl words on my board, and let's see if I can do it. Okay, so that's it for this vlog. I have to rush home so my husband can go to work. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching along.